Aaron, what stood out to you about the way Nestor threw the ball, not only tonight, but the way he's been throwing for a while now? Well, talking about tonight, he, um, you know, every time we went out there and put up some runs, you know, the following inning, he went out there and attacked their lineup. You know, he didn't, you know, for the most part, he's getting strike one, you know, putting the pressure on them. And when you're able to do that, when we got a lead, you know, it makes it tough for an offense to try to fight back and, you know, kind of claw back into the game. You know, that's one thing I've seen from Nestor all year is, you know, he attracts, attacks the strike zone. You know, he's got the different angles. He messes with timing. He does a lot of different things that kind of disrupt the team's, uh, you know, flow, I guess. And um, tonight we saw it again. You know, he just continued to attack the strike zone when we got a lead. And, you know, when you do that, it allows you to pitch deep into the games and uh, get a chance at a win. How difficult would it be as a hitter to face somebody like Nestor that's doing all those different things to keep you off balance and keep your timing off? Yeah, I faced Nestor a couple of times. You know, I think when he was with uh, the Orioles in spring training, I faced him, and it's uh, it's, it's not a fun at bat. You know, you can maybe look up there and you know see that's only 90, 92, but that fastball plays up. You can throw about five different pitches, three different arm slots, messes with your timing, quick pitch, everything. You know, you, you got to be on your toes, you know, and every single pitch is stressful. So, um, you know, he's he works his magic out there on the mound. There's obviously been a lot going on surrounding Luke Voigt with the addition of Anthony Rizzo. Just what have you thought of the way he has really stepped up offensively since he's come off the IL and, and found a way to produce? Yeah, that's Louis V. You know, that's what he does. Um, you know, he's been doing this for now for three years, and, you know, it, Anytime you come off the IL, there's always about a week, 10 days, 10 games that it kind of takes to kind of get that rust off, kind of get back into the flow. And uh, I think we're just kind of seeing Luke back at, you know, 100% healthy. You know, he's moving around great. And when he's moving around great, he can he can do a lot of damage in that box, you know. So um, excited to see him. You know, he really, you know, he, he put the team on his back tonight and helped us with that win. And, um, you know, excited to see what, you know, him and Rizzo both in the lineup can do. We'll take the next question from Mark Feinsand. Aaron, I've seen a lot of guys wearing the Nasty Nestor shirts, and everybody seems to really love him as a teammate. How nice is it to see a guy like that that everybody's pulling for go out there and actually back it up on the field and really help solidify a rotation during the time you have all these injuries right now? Yeah, besides, you know, we can talk about what he's doing on the mound, what he's doing you know, in the games on a consistent basis, you know, if it's, you know, against a team in first place or if it's, you know, against a team that, you know, that's not in first place. You know, he's showing up every single game, but it's, you know, when the days he's not pitching, he's at the top step. You know, he's cheering us on. He's involved in the game. He's locked in. You know, he's, you know, motivating guys, talking with guys. You know, it's, it's little things like that, I think, is why, you know, we got the T-shirts and everyone's really, you know, jumped around him. He's just a guy that, He's a great teammate, you know, a great guy, great teammate. And, you know, when you do that and, you know, couple it with, you know, being a great pitcher on the mound, you know, it makes for um, a <laughs> great guy right there. That's why he's got those T-shirts. Thanks, sir. Randy Miller, you have the next question. Aaron, what was your uh, reaction this week when Luke, uh, Luke came out and, and said, I deserve to play as much as Rizzo? And do you think that maybe somehow that extra motivation in uh, – to him, I know he's had great seasons in the past and was hurt this year. I, I get that, but sometimes things like that can maybe make you focus more somehow. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's tough to say. You know, Luke's a guy that's always motivated. He's a guy that always is working hard. He sh shows up early. He's prepared to play every single day, even if he's not in the lineup. Um, you know, I think when we required Rizzo, um, you know, to be the first baseman, I think Luke... You know, it, it's tough to say what he thought, but I think he kind of spoke his mind the other day. And, you know, he's going out there and putting in the work in the in the field. You know, he's showing why he deserves to be in this lineup, deserves to play every day. And, um, you know, I know Rizzo's going to play every day as a first baseman, but, you know, getting a chance to mix Luke in there at first, mix him in at DH. Um, you know, when you're able to do that, it makes this it makes this lineup so, so much deeper, um, so deadly. So, um, you know, I'm excited to see you know, the next couple months, you know, how everything turns out.